The James and Greg Show. All right. The James and Greg Show is right back at you as promised. Yeah, we had to exercise ourselves. We're making our money today, folks. And thank God for my cameraman, the DP, the evil genius. With his quietness, he was able to ask Coach Ware where the number one player was. And folks, we had to drive across town to interview this guy. This is how important this guy is. Before the game, this guy is working out at his old alma mater, Long Beach State. So we had to get over here because when you average over 24, 25 points a game in the eight, nine rebounds a game, we want to know who you are. Mr. Eugene Phelps, how you doing, man? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? All right, man. We're just amazed to find you over here working out. Um, unfortunately, we didn't catch your workout, but I know you put up some shots, right? Yeah, I put up a couple shots. So we had a gun outside, so I, I used that to get a couple hundred shot, shots up. Okay, all right. Cool, man. Cool. So you do this every game or what? Yeah, I try to. I mean, usually when, a, when if the gym is open, if the courts are up, um, I'm here. Uh -oh. That's the pro stuff, huh? Listen, you graduated from this school, Long Beach State, right? Yes. Okay, good. So does this school give you that energy that you need just to know that you've been here so you kind of get that mentality going? I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, but before a game, you got you, you need energy regardless, you know, wherever, wherever you're at, outside, playing in the park, uh, playing at 24-hour fitness, wherever you're, wherever you're at, you need the energy before a game, you know? All right, so you just needed a good warm-up is what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. All right, all right. So listen, you play for the Cheaters, Coach Casper Ware. Are you guys going to win, man? I mean, we better. I mean, I'm not trying to lose, so we better win. You're averaging 20-something points a game. Is that coming easy? Is this talent letting you play? Is they letting you shoot the ball? Nah, it's coming hard. I mean, I work out pretty much uh, three times uh, a day for the whole week, you know? I mean, so it's hard work. It's showing off, you know? So. Great. And I, I would imagine you've been playing for a while. Have you played in this league a long time? Yes, I played. Uh, I started my uh, senior year in high school, so probably about four or five years now. Yeah. So you know pretty much how to get around these guys, or are you just going out there demanding your space? I mean, a little bit of both, you know? I mean, uh, I work on my post moves, my, my moves of free my jumper, so I guess you could just say it's hard work, you know? It's helping me get better. People, hard work pays off, because we drove over here to, for this interview. We're trying to bring you the best of the best. Now, now Mr. Phelps, you guys play a pretty good team today. Um, I think it's the Bulldogs. That's a tough name. What's your, what's your recipe of beating the Bulldogs? I mean, just play, you know? I mean, I really haven't uh, had a chance to watch them play or anything, but I looked at the schedule or whatever. They're a pretty good team. I believe they're, they're like four and four. They tie with us for like fourth place. So, I mean, it's gonna be a good game. All right. So it looks like the Bulldogs are in trouble. Now, you worked hard on this particular art, basketball, your, your craft. What, what what do you think, you know, or did you ever imagine yourself being a pro? Because I understand you played in Mexico, right? Yes, Mexico. The, the first thing I played for was in Chihuahua, uh, Guanajuato, and the second thing was in Chihuahua. Did you ever imagine yourself from the time you started playing basketball to be at this level of the game? Honestly, no, not really. I mean, starting up, I just play for fun, and then in college, I kind of hit a downfall, and I felt like, this wasn't for me, you know, but I just kept on playing hard, kept on practicing, and it got me here, you know, so it feels good. Absolutely. Now, your stats over there, because I had to do some research, that's my job, journalist, okay? You were like 22, 23 points a game, 8.8, 8.9, 9 rebounds a game. Did that come easy over in Mexico? I mean, no, nah, it didn't come easy. Like I said, it's hard work. Nothing comes easy overseas when playing against anybody, because everybody wants to win, you know? So you got to go hard all the, all the time. Or go home, people. <laughs> now you play for two to three teams. I, I recognize too. How, how, how did the how did it go? Playoffs or what? Um, the first team I played for was an LMVP. That's like the main Mexican league. Uh, we did pretty good. I mean, we went to the um, the second round of playoffs. That's the first time the team ever did that. You know, the second team I played for was a uh, Chihuahua, and we went to the semifinals. And uh, yeah, that didn't. We should have won, but that didn't come out that good. And the second team I played for, the third team I played for was in Guasave. And the team picked up me and my friend Steph. From, he plays in uh, West Virginia. And he picked us up, they picked us up for the playoffs, to make the playoffs. So we, we, made, it, uh, we made the playoffs, but we lost in the first round. That sucks, man. But you did make the playoffs, so they got their money's worth. Now, you have uh, have these aspirations to go NBA, correct? Of course. And, and so you had some workouts, right? Uh, a 
uh, last year I uh, worked out for the Clippers and the Lakers. Great, those are powerhouse teams, especially right now. The Clippers have made some major moves, some championship moves. Um, what do you have to say about the, the demands of your game from the Lakers or the Clippers? Were you ready or do, can you bring it after being a pro now? Do you think you can make their squad? I mean, I think so. I mean, my feedback from the Lakers, because in college I played center. And I was 6'6", playing center in the NBA. That's really not going to work out, you know. But uh, I had a whole year to get my jumper better, my ball handling better. My just, I was just like mentally prepared, you know. So I think if I get another chance, I'll be ready for it. And you're not just going to stop with L.A. teams, I'm sure. There's a whole lot of teams out there that can use a big, strong guy like yourself. Which team do you think you fit in good with? I mean, regardless, it don't matter where I go. I think I'll be a good fit, you know. I'm uh, strong, physical, shoot the 15-footer, play defense. Uh, just energy. Everything needs energy, you know. So I think I'll be a good fit. Now, this year's Summer League, um, I hear that a lot of the personnel, directors of player personnel, they made all the moves. They thought they made all the right X's and O marks. And there's a lot of people, a lot of fans that I hear about because I'm in the know. I'm out there hobnobbing with a lot of people. They're not really happy. Do you think those summer league players or that summer league teams could have competed in it or the Drew League could compete with them? I mean, I believe so. I mean, it's time in the Drew League, you know. I mean, I think it would be a good fit. I mean, if we played against the best players from the Drew League, play against them, I think that would be a pretty, pretty good game. I think so too, because I've watched a couple of games with Drew League. It's very, very fast, people. I was amazed that it's faster than college, and they're still running plays. They're running pick and rolls, they're running screen, ball screens, and it's really, really good. Double picks, and they're playing big defense, they're pressing, they're playing man to man, they're playing zone. They play good game down there, man. And I, it was, I was impressed, and they, they're talking about dropping some dimes, them dudes, and some threes, them dudes was out there falling. So that will be interesting to see these guys compete and see who actually wants to play in the NBA. So you said that you got the energy and you're going to bring that energy. How about defense? Defense, uh, I'm good. I mean, um, just, uh, I think I can guard a two, three, four. I played guard five in college, so I think I can guard a five a little bit. I mean, I'm a good, strong rebounder. I average about like eight, nine rebounds overseas, you know. So, um, yeah. One quick question. Do you have anything to tell these kids that are fearing or just want to give up in this game? Honestly, I just got to say, just never give up. I mean, like I said, when I got to college, I hit a downfall where I just felt like it wasn't going to go my way, you know, but I just kept on going to practice, kept on going hard, and now I'm here, you know. I mean, I'm not at the best situation, but uh, thank God, I, I mean, I'm in a good situation, so just keep on going hard and don't give up. That was Eugene Phelps, people. Well, this is Eugene Phelps. And there's more to come from Eugene. He's not kidding around. He's a big, strong guy. And he works on his game continuously, before and after the game. Incredible, folks. I guess that's what it takes to be the best. And when you quest for to be the best, you're going to give it all you got. It's go hard or go home. Thank you. The James and Greg Show. We always capture the best. I ain't kidding.